The most fascinating of the Galilean moons, Europa, the sixth closest moon to Jupiter, the smallest of the four Galilean moons, and the sixth largest moon in the solar system. In addition to having an icy surface and a possible warm water interior, this moon is considered to be one of the most likely candidates for possessing life outside of Earth. Europa has a diameter of 3,121 kilometers making it smaller than Earth's moon, but larger than Pluto. It is the smallest of the Galilean moons. Europa is 0.245 the size of Earth and 0.008 times as massive. Europa is the smoothest known object in the solar system, lacking large-scale features such as mountains and craters. Its orbit is nearly circular, with an eccentricity of 0.09, and lies at an average distance of 670,900 km from Jupiter. One day on Europa the time it takes for the Moon to rotate on its axis is 3.551 Earth days. It also takes Europa 3.5 Earth days to orbit Jupiter. This means that a day on Europa takes the same length of time as one year on Europa. Europa is tidally locked, so the same side faces Jupiter at all times. The surface pressure of Europa's atmosphere is 0.1 micropascals, 100 billion times less than that of Earth. Europa's surface temperature averages about minus 160 Celsius at the equator and minus 220 Celsius at the poles, keeping Europa's icy crust as hard as granite. A prominent feature of Europa is its high degree of reflectivity. Europa's surface is made of water ice and so it reflects 5.5 times the sunlight than our moon. Europa's icy crust gives it in light reflectivity of 0.64 one of the highest of all of the moons in the entire solar system. Scientists estimate that Europa's surface is about 20 million to 180 million years old, which makes it fairly young. Europa has a weak oxygen atmosphere which is most likely because of charged particles from the sun hitting water molecules on its surface. This breaks those molecules into oxygen and hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen escapes the surface of Europa but the oxygen is left being leaving a tenuous oxygen-based atmosphere. There have been five spacecraft that have been up close to Europa. A majority of what we know about Europa is because of the Galileo spacecraft mission. Flybys of Europa have been accomplished by the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft. In 1995, the Galileo mission revealed that Europa has a thin atmosphere composed mostly of molecular oxygen O2. One of the most important measurements made by the Galileo mission showed how Jupiter's magnetic field was disrupted in the space around Europa. The measurements strongly implied that a special type of magnetic field is being created within Europa by a deep layer of some electrically conductive fluid beneath the surface. Based on Europa's icy composition, scientists think the most likely material to create this magnetic signature is a global ocean, and this magnetic field result is still the best evidence we have for the existence of an ocean on Europa. Like our planet, Europa is thought to have an iron core, a rocky mantle and an ocean of salty water. Unlike Earth, however, Europa ocean lies below a shell of ice. Scientists think Europa ice shell is 15 to 25 kilometers thick, floating on an ocean 60 to 150 kilometers deep. So while Europa is only one-fourth the diameter of Earth, its ocean may contain twice as much water as all of Earth's oceans combined. Europa vast and unfathomably deep ocean is widely considered the most promising place to look for life beyond Earth. However, colonizing and or terraforming Europa also presents several problems. First and foremost is the high amount of radiation coming from Jupiter about 540 rems, which is enough to kill a human being within a single day. Then there is the low gravity of Europa 1.314 meter per second or 0.134 times the Earth standard gravity. Colonies on Europa's surface would therefore have to be extensively shielded, or would have to use the ice shield as protection by descending beneath the crust and living in sub-